Let's check if the fluent solution obeys a similarity principle. In this case, that means that if I take a velocity profile like that, I can stretch it in the vertical direction by a certain amount and I should get a velocity profile like that because all velocity profiles have the same shape. And the stretching as per the Blasius solution is proportional to uh, 1 over root x. So if I go on the uh, vertical axis um, from y to plotting y over root x, I would expect these velocity profiles to collapse into a single profile. Let's see if that is the case in the fluent solution. I'll go into CFD post and I have my previous profiles. I will make, uh, I'll, I'll duplicate that and I'll call it velocity profile scaled. And I need to go and in velocity profile scaled, change y to y over root x. So I need to create a variable y over root x and I'll start off doing that by creating the expression. So I'll right click new, uh, I will say y scaled expression and I'll right click variable is y over square root right click variable x and you can also type that in and say apply and then create a variable user defined variable new I'll call that y scaled and the expression is y scaled expression and I'll say apply. Now if I come back here and go into the chart viewer. Now when I change this from y to y over root x, I should expect these profiles to collapse if similarity is obeyed. Let's see if that is going to happen. So I click here, I'll say y scaled, OK, apply, boom, they do collapse. So this is this is a really you know, dramatic uh, illustration of the similarity principle operating within the fluent solution. Now I can also compare this to the solution from the ODE to see that if I go back to the PowerPoint, f is a function of eta. Eta is a Blasius variable and it's defined this way. It's proportional to y over root x and then you have like a constant factor. Um, rho, u, infinity, mu, all of which are known. Uh, so in literature, you also sometimes have a 2 here. Some people use a 2. And if the 2 is here, you know, that's the ODU you get. But if you don't have the 2, you actually get a 2 over here in the ODE. And I'll go with this um, definition of eta because that's, you know, I have a solution to that ODE which I can compare to the fluent solution. So once I have the solution to the ODE, f prime eta is basically u over u infinity. So I have u versus eta from that solution which you can compare to fluent. So let's do that. I will go to um, the fluence, you know, I'll go to CFD post and now create a new expression for eta. So I'll just duplicate y scaled expression, call it eta expression. And then that just has a constant factor, which turns out in our case to be one e to the power of minus four uh, from the, from mu and the units of the, you know, that constant expression. So this comes uh, from rho, um, u infinity and mu, um, rho and u infinity are one. So which is why we get the value of mu. And if I say apply, so now it's just a non-dimensional variable. Then I'll go into variables, uh, create a user defined variable. I'll call it eta. I'll say okay. And the expression is, um, eta expression apply. I'll go into outline and then change this to eta. And 
if I go to chart uh, and I have to say apply over here and you see that you know it's been scaled up uh, by a factor of 100 uh, it turns out so if I change this to 10 I played around with it um, it works well and so you can see kind of you know a more or less conventional velocity profile but with the overshoot now let's compare the the Blasius solution to that and I will read that in and I'll give you this file so I'll create a new um, curve and then I'll say you know the data is from a file I will browse uh, user files and it's a dot CSV file so it's just X versus uh, X in the first column, you know, the horizontal axis values in the first column and the vertical uh, axis values in the second column. And I'll say open and apply. And so that's the Blasio solution. And when I saw this at first, okay, it's, it's not too off, but I was expecting a better comparison and it was bothering me. And it, then I realized maybe it's a finite Reynolds number effect and so if I um, go to my PowerPoint, okay, this, so I, I read the, read it this for uh, Reynolds number uh, based on the plate length of 100,000, one e to the power of five. And here you can see that, you know, the fluent solutions collapse into this profile and that compares better with the Blasius profile. So the, the comparison gets better as I increase the Reynolds number. Now, it turns out you can actually correct the Blasius solution for the effect of the boundary layer displacement thickness using second order boundary layer theory and uh, the method of matched asymptotic expansions. So, um, you, you know, and I would expect that this would move towards that if I corrected the Blasius solution. And if I wanted to, I can also export this data to a CSV file. If I say export, I can, you know, go up a couple of levels. That'll take me to my um, working folder and then save it as a CSV file. And that'll give me all the data. And I tend to, you know, when I do that, I will copy stuff from the CSV file into an Excel worksheet and make, you know, pretty plots and so on. So I thought I'll point that out. And I'll say file, save project.